after you um, grabbed your gun from your bedside table, what happened? I went back out, and they were still trying to get him to leave, and he wouldn't leave. And I was, as soon as I, I was standing there, there was debate on whether to call 911. I said, do it. Where were you guys standing at? Right there by the um, table. The, the, the kitchen table? Yeah, okay. the big one. Kind of in that opening there, there was a little bit more towards the bedroom. I said, call them. I want somebody to get here, and they can take care of us, get him out of here. But then I noticed all that talking, trying to, they wouldn't acknowledge that. I saw him starting to jiggle the, the handles and stuff, saying if it was locked. And that's when I went up to the door. And, you know, kind of wanted to make sure he didn't force his way in. So while he was jiggling the handle, you went up to I try to open the door was, shut. I'm pretty sure I was telling him to stop and leave and get off my porch or something. But I had my nine in my hand, in this hand, and he, then he started hitting it with the shoulder pretty hard to where we saw what he did yeah. eventually. And once I realized he was getting in and the door was open is when I shot. Okay. Did you shoot through the door? I or shot through the window? Through the window part of the door because the door was open and he was coming in. So he was pushing his way in. Yeah. I, and you shot I had my socks on, so I couldn't. I didn't have no grip. Was he kind of pushing you back as you were trying to yeah, hold him? he was moving me. Okay. And that's when I, at first I wouldn't, I was trying to shoot, but my clip wasn't in. Okay. And then I freaked out, and I finally did that, did another rack, and then he was pushing hard, and that's when I, the gun fired. I think three times. Twice up here, and maybe another one. I'm pretty sure it was three. Okay. And uh, do you recall, like, after you fired the first round through the glass, did he end eventually get the door all the way swung open, or do you think all the shots were through that glass window? That was all through the glass. It's all through the glass. Okay. Sure. And from what I remember, your your kind of front door glass was, is it, is it like an oval? Like long oval. Okay. I got you. Okay. And then what happened after that? After the shots, he had, he had turned and went off of the porch and it's kind of hard to remember after that. I understand. Just take your time. We was all freaking out obviously. And then I looked out again and his leg, I saw his legs laying there and I was seeing the book if he was moving or if he wasn't. But then the neighbor had come up going, you know, like, and we was trying to yell at him to stay back because I didn't know what he was. He, from my understanding, Mitch, he was outside and he heard some gunshots and he was, he was more concerned. He just didn't know what exactly happened. I think that's why he came over to maybe check on you guys or just something to that effect. But yes, and then, so you told him to stay back, okay? And then, um, did you go back in the house after you, did you, where did you see him at? We, we lived, um, I didn't go back out. Okay. I stayed away from it. Okay. Did you go outside to, and you said you saw him laying there or something? So he, he was he, walking he, completely okay. around the corner. Okay, but you didn't leave the porch. Did you come out on the porch did, at all? I did not. I didn't want to touch anything or... Did you come outside at all? Or outside of your threshold, I, I guess I should say? No, I don't think I did. You could either. just see his feet. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Okay, and then um, did who called nine one one? Did you guys call nine one one or did they were they were in the process? I think we was online with, on the phone with them before he had tried to break the door down. Okay, you see, so they, they were on the on the nine one one call during that whole thing. So either your daughter or your wife well, I think called nine one one. My daughter was. Okay, because so were they still had the ring up on their phone or whatever? Maybe my wife did. Okay, and then. Okay. I'm not okay. sure. I understand. And then Allie might have been on with 911. Okay. Okay. And then uh, did you guys all just stay inside until deputies or. Yeah. I understand Sydney police came out there as well because they were probably um, a little closer, maybe. Right. So you guys just stayed inside until they got yeah, on scene. We didn't want to. Gotcha. Move. <laughs> okay. What is your. So I understand that James used to date your daughter. Okay. How long did they date for? Okay. If you had to guess, would, um, honestly, I don't. know. Would, would you say it's a con it was a considerable time? Like, were they kind of serious? Or yeah, I think they were friends for a while, and then they went out 
out for a little bit. It didn't, didn't quite work out. This was a couple years ago. Okay. And then LAN didn't want to see him anymore for some reason. I never got involved in that. I understand. But then he moved to California for a little bit. And then he just he had come back. And then for two years I didn't text or talk, I guess, until last night. And they didn't tell they don't really tell me stuff about guys because right. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm not saying daughters don't want right. to talk too much with their dad about that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um,